these mans is playing with a water tap and they are hype. They are so hype. We've made a school for them, a masjid for them. They're so hyped to get some shade and learn at the same time. Post-apocalyptic scenario where there's no water around. And I'm like, that ain't post-apocalyptic. That's real life right now. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Inshallah, I am taking my students to Africa, specifically Ghana, Africa. I think that's going to be a great opportunity. Um, Hope dad's not yelling at his kids. That's not nice. We shouldn't yell at our kids. We should be all right, you know? It's so good to speak to you guys again. Wallahi. It's like, from the past few days, I haven't been able to record or upload. Those are two days off, right? I didn't upload on Friday and on Saturday. It's because I was filming for the... Uh, uh, you know, food donation video, the one that I just posted up. You should go watch that right over here. Um, <clears throat> and honestly, I missed I missed this because I feel like this is therapy and therapeutic for me. Um, I'm so blessed and I'm so fortunate. I, after you know going and doing that uh, project and uploading the video today, man, this Billy's ball is everywhere. Can you see that? Yeah, oh my God, it was in my mouth. God, you know, I want to protect us. Look at this Billy's hairs all over me, guys. Blue and may Allah, may Allah bless us, <laughs> nonetheless. <clears throat> you might be like, "Ask you where are you going with this?" I don't know, right? Um, but I just feel super grateful. I just feel really, really grateful about everything that's going on in my life. Uh, I have a meal, I have food to eat. Like, so I have a roof over my head, wherever it might be, wherever Allah has blessed me with. I, we're not better than those who don't have. Um, you know, shelter or we're not better than them, man. The fact that they don't and I do and I'm not doing anything about it, that's sad. And you know, I'm feeling that right now as a 31-year-old man. Imagine taking my children, 11-year-old, 12-year-old children, by, by children I mean my students, right? I call them my children. 12-year-old, 13-year-old kids all the way to Ghana, Africa. Teach them what true... Like water scarcity means they were reading a book. It all came about from them reading a book called Not a Drop to Drink. And naturally, as teachers, I have to read it with them, you know. And I'm reading all these things about them, about this type of post-apocalyptic scenario where there's no water around. And I'm like, that ain't post-apocalyptic. That's real life right now. You know what I mean? I seen these children. I went to Ghana, Africa, and I seen, I seen them build a well. I seen children playing with a tap, a faucet tap. You're not going to donate to that? Please. They were playing, we were playing with water guns. You know, we played with Xboxes and uh, PS Vitas or whatever. These mans is just playing with a water tap and they are hype. They are so hype. They're so hype. We've made a school for them, a masjid for them. They're so hype to get some shade and learn at the same time. They've made schools for them and these schools are beautiful. You know what they have for their book bags? Let me show you my book. I'm going to take you. I'm going to leave you out here because that's too much work. I'm watching the Clipper, the, the Nuggets and uh, uh, the game, by the way, with the Clippers. I'm really hoping the Clippers come back because the Clippers are, could be a crazy Cinderella story. So what is it going to take? Oh, Bismillah. Oh, too easy. Too easy. MashaAllah. Okay, score is 79 up. Um, so, and I have a hijab client in a bit too. Can't remember exactly why I came inside here. Um, my book bag. I wanted to show you my book bag. And I wanted you to compare it to their book bags, right? I want to show you. This is what I have as a book bag myself, okay? And these beautiful children, well, like, they have rice bags. They have rice bags, bro. And they're killing the game. They're just happy to like, get an education. This is what I have. It's an awesome book bag, by the way. A lot of you, whoever sees me in real life, they really compliment it. It's nice. It's from... Um, can't remember Fudger gear I think something like that uh, they do mostly like Omrah and Hajj type of uh, uh, gear they sent this to me to where I needed a book bag and it's pretty dope so if you want go check their stuff out you know what I mean they didn't did they pay me just you to say it? no I mean you know they're a Muslim company why not why not like why not help them why not support them you know people are trying like you know yeah it, like it's good to donate to all these countries and everything like that, and that that's what we need to do that but we also need to take care of our own communities these are like muslim entrepreneurs but we need to help them out they're trying to make it easier for the ummah and stuff like that help them out help them out we need to help each other out i feel so grateful right now alhamdulillah that i could make a video like this and some people will watch it 
You know? My, my video right now that I have for feeding the homeless, wallahi, it changed my life. I know if someone watches this sincerely, it could change theirs too. At least that's what I think. No change happens without the permission of Allah. If you want to change, if you want to do something, it doesn't happen without the permission of Allah. No guidance can come to you without the permission of Allah. We need to stay connected and tied to the Quran and Sunnah. We need to. And by the way, this isn't you. This is me. This is me. It's my responsibility to help people out. It's my responsibility. You know what? The truth is I'm not doing enough. I'm not. <clears throat> that's, the, that's all I could do for them? A promo? Why? Why can't I do more for them? That's all I could do for them? May Allah bless my, 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 my brother, Talib and Taimiyah. You're a real one if you know who those people are. Because you would if you followed my videos, you know what I mean? That's not a cry for help. That's a, from a place of love. All of you who watch my videos, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Honest to God, I appreciate you so much. And you're in my du'as for sure. <clears throat> Even if you don't watch them, you're cool too. <laughs> but I want to be able to do more for people. I was only able to give. I paid them. You know, I paid them. I tried. I didn't give them much, but I gave them something. But I wish I could have gave them more. More. I want to give people more. You just helped me film a video. It should be viral. Two million views. Three million views. Why not? This is what Muslims are doing over here. But we don't want to share this. What do we want to share, huh? <laughs> you don't think it moves you? It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before all of this pops. Anyways, I wanted to make this video to let you know I'm taking my students to Africa. I don't want to bore you or take my time. I want to go watch that game. And also, I have a hijama client. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, I only like doing intros if my daughters are around. And right now, it's actually my daughter's birthday. Can you believe that? SubhanAllah. We don't celebrate birthdays, but try to understand what I mean by this. My daughters still need to know it's their birthday. You understand? Like some Muslims have this idea that, you know, oh, kids shouldn't even know what their birthday is or not, bro. They should know when their date, when the day they were born. You know what I mean? But it's up to the parents to create a nurturing environment where you treat the birthday as something sacred. Not as something that, you know, like a gift. And it's not about like giving gifts on this day. It's about making them feel like they are a gift. They are a gift. They are a, 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 a miracle from Allah. And they should celebrate in a way by worshiping Allah and loving their parents. You know what I mean? Like, that's what we're trying to do. So they have taken my daughter out. I'm here. Um, going to do hijab in a bit. Go to watch that uh, game as well, too. And uh, probably just hang out with my, my, my children. You know, I never get tired from making these videos at all. Honest to God, it's very, very helpful and therapeutic. But uh, just you're just going to have to bounce with my uh, uploading schedule. This is going to be uploaded sometime tomorrow. I don't know when, but it will be. Uh, so you're watching this right now. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Check out some of my other videos if you want to. If not, it's cool too. Love you. See you in the next video. I'm out.